Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Now, this morning I'm looking at a book in family law proceedings. It's an important book, I think, for anybody at the young bar and certainly people who are beginning either their uh, overall practice as lawyers or they've come into the family law jurisdiction having done other things. Now, this book I think is very important. It's called Evidence in Family Proceedings by David Burroughs. And it's come to us from Lexis Nexis, <coughs> who took over the family law imprint from Jordan Publishing. And that's actually where the book originated from. It's available as a book and as an e-book. And Elizabeth and I gave uh, the title for our book review the following. An essential advocacy guide for all involved in family hearings, especially lawyers new to this jurisdiction. Now let's have a look at the book first of all. There it is. You can see the front of it there, and the spine, and then the back. There's a little bit of blurb on the back which I've used partly in the review, but I've given it my own particular opinions. Now the index is on paragraph numbering, which is a lot easier in some ways to find things. And then after you have the index there, and then you can see the body copy of the book itself, which I just opened up, chapter 19, children, views and evidence. You can see the paragraph numbering at the sides and you can see the footnoting. There's not too much footnoting, but there's enough, which I think is very helpful. <coughs> there is the front page. And there's the detail about the book itself. And then there's a preface. Now, Mr. Burroughs spends a lot of time on precedent in his preface, dated the 12th of September, 2016. It's worth reading, and I've quoted a little bit from it, but um, he does actually place a great deal of emphasis on the, com uh, the, the uh, subject of precedent itself. Now, we then move on to the contents section, and you can see it covers a, a wide uh, range of areas. Um, expert evidence is particularly relevant, I think, in Chapter 10 for quite a lot of trials. And we go on there, you see the detailed contents section um, as we go through the work. Um, there we go, we get towards the end now. Uh, Public Interest Immunity, Chapter 21, is the last chapter. <coughs> then we move on from that to the table of cases themselves. This is a, a sort of case-rich substantive law area, so there are a large number of cases which are referred to, and it's set out alphabetically. And then after that, you have the table of statutes, and then some statutory instruments, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you start the, the basic beginning of the book. Chapter 1, the introduction, evidence, and the law on family breakdown and family proceedings. And I did think this was an important book, not just from the point of view of the practitioner, but in this day and age more so with the litigant in person, the unrepresented party, of which there are a very large number in this particular area now that uh, legal aid has all but disappeared in many areas. <clears throat> now what do we say about this book? Well, the author of Evidence in Family Proceedings, that's the uh, title of the book, is a solicitor advocate called David Burroughs, and he declares that the present mainstream books on evidence don't include coverage of certain features which are unique to family law. So his mission then is to <coughs> fill the gap and cover such important family law areas as the special law and procedure on hearsay, which apply and other specialist family law rules of evidence, and I indicated uh, expert evidence in particular. Burris has also, of course, highlighted uh, matters including uh, litigation uh, privilege and, as I say, expert evidence in children proceedings as well. And that's, I think, a value of this particular book. Subject areas which, of course, are seen by many people to be highly specialised. There's also a most important commentary on the complex rules of disclosure, formerly we used to call it discovery, on financial relief or remedy proceedings, again, formally known as ancillary relief, which many advocates find difficult to fully appreciate. And one can understand why, when some areas of our activities have been renamed, of course, generally for a good reason. 
but sometimes it is a bit of a problem <laughs> because we do hark back to other other terms and other words to describe what we now call by a different name. <clears throat> now it's rightly suggested here that family lawyers don't always fully consider the extent to which we have uh, to place such heavy reliance on the common law itself. And it's the rules of evidence which are so well defined in most of the leading authorities and of course in the Red Book, uh, now coming out in the 2017 edition, um, which is of course by far the most important practice book for all of us. And what is most useful about Burroughs' book for lawyers uh, is that this book harmoniously blends in as a useful supplement to the rules set out formally in the Red Book, which many will probably find initially quite daunting. So you have this easy expertise here on hand from Burroughs. And I, I would point out, which I haven't said in the written uh, review, that there is a lot of emphasis on case law, but quite often I, I would suggest that some of it's a bit superfluous. Uh, I've certainly found in practice that it's not a good idea to overload your <coughs> submissions with case law. Uh, but it's a matter of personal opinion. I do think the eyes of the judge can glaze over quite quickly, so do be aware of that. Now, the title is fundamentally an important hands-on specialist title, very up-to-date for practice and for advocacy tips and to consolidate the general rules of evidence as they apply to family matters. And Burroughs covers the range of rules which apply specifically to family proceedings in a clear and concise manner to save us time in court, and he certainly does that. It's probably the most useful statement which one will read in the preface is the motivation for this book, because Burroughs writes that the powers of judges in family law are regulated extensively by statute. This includes their powers to deal with children, while inherent powers to deal with wardship dwindle correspondingly, uh, to orders that children be taken into care and adopted, and that marriages or civil partnerships be dissolved and property be distributed on a dissolution. And he concludes with these words, by contrast, many of the principles by which judges operate statutory powers are governed by rules which go beyond the family procedure rules of 2010 and can only be found in the common law. Well, he's, he's right about that, but as I said, word of warning, do be careful with the amount of case law that you submit. And of course, it is for these reasons alone that the book is a fundamental purchase, I think, for those new to family law advocacy. Now, the law is stated as at the 1st of September 2016, and the title's available as both a book and as an e-book. Let's just have a look at it again. There's the front page, uh, sorry, the front cover of the book there. Then you've got the spine, then you've got the back of the book with some commentary on there. If I just open it up in the middle, we're looking again at expert evidence. Court control of expert evidence. This can be really quite important. It makes or breaks quite a lot of cases. You can see the structure of the book, the paragraph numbering at the sides. And of course, you've got a lot of footnoting. The footnoting really is to do with uh, follow-up references for things like the Children Act and all the relevant legislation and sometimes details concerning the cases that one is uh, looking at. I found this a very good book. I didn't have this sort of thing when I started, which is a bit of a pity because I think it actually is something that's needed for uh, all advocates, not just new ones, but I think people like myself who are a bit older, who've got quite a lot of experience, but we still need to uh, refresh our memory as to how to uh, go about certain things. So thank you very much to David Burrows and to Lexis for taking this on board as part of the Family Law imprint. We do rely on these books very heavily um, to give us help in court and it does make our lives a lot easier. So thank you. Bye bye.